Greetings, viewers, and welcome back to more Ragplay's Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Last we left off, we had finished uh, talking to everybody in the Undercity here, and we were ready to go out. We picked up a few new quests. Not sure exactly what we're going to do with each of those yet, but we'll play it by ear as we go along. Ready to begin our search for Mission and Zalbar. Heading out into the Undercity. Come on, Karth. Move like you got a purpose. So... Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is going to help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa, slow down, Mission. What's wrong? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Calm down, Mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I was about to say that's kind of really a stupid thing to say, Karth. <laughs> like, they might get infected with the Ragul disease still. Like, they might be able to fight them, sure, but, uh... What if they contract the disease? But maybe the Ragul disease doesn't affect Twi'leks and Wookiees, only humans. The outcasts seem to be completely, um human, as far as I can tell, as far as we know. We didn't see any other um, species in there. But anyway, um... Do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help you get Zalbar back, you have to get me inside the Volker base. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalbar before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Mission has joined your party. Left click this response to go to a party selection screen. Journal entry added, experience points received 330. And there we go. Mission is in our party, Karth's in our party. Okay. She teleports over there. She's magic. So, Mission Veo, new party member. Woo! What do we have to give you? First of all, um, you're going to need some better armor, most likely, and you're going to need, uh, much, much as I'd hate to change her out of this awesome-looking smuggler's gear, I um, actually really like the default clothing for Mission. It's been changed a little bit, but um, more or less just the, the aesthetic. I think there's even a, a mod out there that changes if you're playing a, P a female PC to use Mission's um, uh, vest and, and stuff. It looks... It's kind of Han Solo-ish, you know. It's, it's what? cool. But uh, yeah, I was about to say we need to we need to get her out of that and into something a little bit more reasonable, a little bit more protective. Because clothing doesn't do anything for her. Uh, the obvious choice, give her the fiber armor. So I think we shall. It doesn't look the best on her, but it's better than nothing. We're also going to give her an energy shield on that arm. I think that's her her left arm. Yes. She's got a stealth field generator that she comes equipped with, and uh, we'll keep her with that, because she's the only one who can make use of it. And she has a blaster pistol. Uh, she... we'll have to check her feats. I think I'm going to leave her with the blaster pistol, though, for now. Because I don't think she can benefit from anything else. However, 
She does come with another item, Missions Vibroblade. Feats required, weapon proficiency, melee weapons, damage, damage physical 1 to 10, uh, plus 1 bonus to physical damage, critical threat 19, 20 times 2. It's exactly the same as the prototype Vibroblade. Um, it's upgradable, melee weapon. Working with few resources, Mission Veo returned this basic Vibroblade into an exceptional weapon, almost as adaptable as she is. It's, it's exactly the same weapon as what we're using now, but it's just too old for her. I wish she could have it as a side weapon, but I don't think I want her engaging in melee because she's got 21 hit points. She's got fewer hit points than we do. It's awful. Anyway, uh, it's cool we got another modifiable item, though. And we're going to level her up because she does need a level up. And uh, for that matter, she is a scoundrel, level 3. Vitality 21 out of 21, defense 23. She's got 10 strength, 16 dex, very good range character. Um, constitution of 12, intelligence of 14, very good at skills, uh, wisdom of t 11, and charisma of 10. I find that strange how they gave her a higher, wi I guess, street smarts, wisdom, than charisma. But she's a Twi'lek, I mean... That's, uh, that's got to count for something on the Charisma meter. Defense is 23. That reminds me. What's our defense? She's got better defense than us with that armor on. <laughs> uh, better than us all. It's her dexterity is helping her out, actually. That's fine. Um, what was I about to do here? I was about to check her feats and skills and stuff. So... Computer use. She's got a skill rank of 2, a bonus of plus 2, and a total rank of 4. Skill rank of 6 in Demolitions. Wow, really good at Demo. Bonus of plus 3, a total rank of 9. She's got a Stealth skill of 6, plus 4, a total rank of 10. Awareness of 6, total rank of 6. She's got no Persuade. She's not the main character anyway, so it doesn't matter. Repair of 2... To a total rank of two. She's got a plus two to retire. What is she getting these bonuses from? It must be her class, if I had to guess. She's got a security of six. And a skill rank of three in treat injury. And that is going to eliminate our need to use Karth. I'm glad I didn't dump any points into that for his uh, security skill. So we can focus purely on awareness and treat injury for him. Search for Bastila. Mission has agreed to help you sneak into the Black Volker base to recover the stolen swoop accelerator, but first she wants you to rescue her Wookiee friend Salbar from the Gaborian slavers in the sewer. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh... Last, uh, we needed to check her feats. I forgot about that. Um, she's got light armor proficiency. Can't wear anything other than light armor. Uh, she's got Caution, that's a plus one skill bonus to both Demolitions and Stealth. It's kind of unfortunate, it's not a very good skill to have, or feat to have. Critical Strike, she's got Sniper Shot, those are her kind of smuggler type skills that she has. She's got Weapon Proficiency Blaster Pistol, Weapon Proficiency Blaster Rifle, and Weapon Proficiency Melee Weapon. She can use kind of a variety of things, actually kind of the same things as Telemachus can use. Got sneak attack one and two, very good skills for the uh, for the uh, scoundrel class. Uh, sneak attack one adds one to one to six points of extra damage to attacks when the target can't respond to the attacker. The extra damage is applied to attacks made from behind the target, attacks against stunned or otherwise immobilized targets, and any attacks made while stealth mode. Uh, combat cancels stealth mode, but the first attack receives the bonus. Sneak attack only works if the target is within 10 meters. The extra damage is not multiplied in the case of a critical hit. And this same deal, except it just doubles the damage, and it gets really, really ridiculous and really awesome. Uh, mission as a thing that she gets is for being a scoundrel. She has scoundrel's luck. She has a knack for getting in trouble, but to compensate, they also possess an incredible instinct for survival. This manifests as a truly useful plus two to defense. This feat is always active. Neat. And she has dueling characters that focus on single one-handed weapon in battle, gain plus one to attack, and plus one to defense. Due to the efficiency of this form of combat, this applies to both ranged and melee weapons. So 
As long as she's using one weapon, so only one blaster, she will gain that advantage. Unfortunately, like, and it's weird to me that this happens, but there's no, um, you know, this type of trait or, like, two-weapon fighting. It doesn't affect... It doesn't affect double-bladed weapons, I don't think, and it also doesn't affect... Um, rifles. That's weird. She's got the best thing that we could possibly give her as a weapon, so that's fine. We might be able to position her in combat a little bit better, but what? for now... Oh yeah, she had a level up too, didn't she? What? <laughs> right. Mission. Level up. Attributes. So... We could give, we could take her up to 12 wisdom, which would give her a plus one to will saves right now. Alternatively, we could dump it into dexterity. Your defense is crazy high as is, but yeah, I'm going to do that. It's not going to, we'll not, we'll not see any benefits from that for a while, but eventually we might. Okay, so what she is good at is security, awareness, stealth, and demolitions. These two go both, like all these three skills actually go hand in hand, at least the stealth and the security. Um, she has five points remaining. Five points. It's ridiculous. Does she have like a 14 in intelligence? I didn't even pay attention to that. I think she does, but... Uh, Getting one in security, uh, one in demolitions, one in stealth, one in awareness, and uh, bumper computer use. I mean, we don't have enough to do that. Okay, so what did we? Well, since we have remaining, po oh, that's a two-point cost. Damn. Hmm. In that case. I'm willing to get her computer used to three by not putting the... Eh, you know what? No. No. We'll wait for the next level up. We'll save this remaining point. And that's it for mission. She's got 28 hit points now. More than Telemachus. <laughs> and she's actually really good aligned, even more than us. It's kind of surprising, given she's a, a scoundrel. Anyway. Yes? Save the game. So where do we go from here? I see Sith off in the distance. Hmm. Let's go and see them and see if they want to play. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Slowly walk over. <laughs> Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? Yep. They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We are the armed We've escort. we lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. You said you lost one patrol already. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. You just follow your orders and keep looking. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out! 
off they go. One of the few situations in the game that you can solve a problem with non-combat by just talking your way out of it. Alright. Let's continue along. I'm trying to remember my way around here, but uh... Any loots? about to run in, into quite a big mob of rat ghouls. And this is where the combat is actually going to start getting pretty ridiculous, so... Ugh. Just pa pause, just for a second. I might take mission in there and demonstrate stealth. It would actually be a pretty good time to do that, I think. Let's go into stealth mode. And we're going to switch solo mode on as well. Stealth. No one's gonna see this mission. And here she goes. We're sneaking along. I believe sneak attack only works with basic attacks, so. Here goes nothing. Oh, we did manage to hit something. Hang on, Telemachus. Yes. Hang on. Hang on, I said. Disengage. Now back up. Nice. She, we already got one. And, uh, you know, I'm actually going to switch to blasters down here. I really don't want to take that much damage. Let's switch over to our rifle and, uh, use it to... Time to rumble! Our... <laughs> and... Backing up. I she got hit anyway, so... But, uh, no real harm done. Huh? Hopefully that will disappear in how long? Who knows? What? That's cool though. Just have to keep an eye on her. If she goes down, we'll heal up. But if not, we've got a corpse here. Twelve credits and a med pack. Well, that'll come in handy for mission. Switch that solo mode off now. talk with Mission as well, actually. We haven't spoken to her yet, so... Hey there. What can I do for you? I want to know a little more about you, Mission. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? How did you and Zalbar hook up? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well... I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the Lower City. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Who'd want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Sounds a good way to get your arms ripped off. Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So, maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Lucky he didn't fry you with a blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What did the other two Volkers do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. 
I keep telling Zabar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zabar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How did Zalbar end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashik. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. How did you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street no, smarts. I, didn't say that. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. We should get back to the task at hand. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Okay, but uh, I actually did want to ask you about the planet we were on, so... Hey, hey, hang on, don't do that, don't do that, <laughs> don't do that, Karth. You're, you're making me nervous. It's awfully twitchy. I'll give you some uh, anti-seizure medication, though. Its name is escaping me right now. God, it's so hard to be witty. Hey there, what can I do uh, for you? Oh, you actually do want to talk about your brother well, then. I want to talk to you about your brother. I, I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. You don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. No, I, I want to tell you. Zalbar's a great listener, but it might be nice to talk about this with someone who doesn't reply in growls and grunts. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip, if you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? You were stowaways. I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. What kind of problems did your brother have? He gambled. And drank. And he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive. Showed me how to slice into a computer security system. How to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes. And how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Pretty handy skills to have, Mission. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. Why did he leave? He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. Who's Lena? I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subjects closed, as far as I'm well, concerned. Hey, you brought if her I'm up. gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. Ooh. So, is there something else you need? Claws out. All right. You know anything about the planet we're on? That's what I originally wanted to talk to you about. Terrace is a pretty good place to grow up, all things considered. Just stick to the area you belong in and stay out of Davik's business, and you'll be fine. Tell me about the Upper City. The Upper City's got some nice shops and all, but it's boring. 
The only time I go up there is if I need free healing from Zelka at his medical facility. I can relate. Tell me about the Lower City. What can I say? The Lower City was a great place to hang out until the Volkers started that gang war. Now you can't even walk the streets without getting shot at. The Undercity? It can be pretty nasty down there. You've got rat ghouls crawling around looking for their next meal. And the Gamorrean slavers like to set up their bases in the sewers. And then there's the Outcast Village, a collection of people banished to the Undercity for their crimes. I mostly avoid the village, though. It's pretty depressing to see how they live. I know. Tell me about Davik. I tend to keep my nose out of an intergalactic crime lord's business, you know? I can't yep, tell you much no that more. isn't common knowledge. Extortion, slavery, smuggling. Davik's got a piece of all the action here on Terrace. Even the swoop gangs know better than to get in his way. Thanks for the info. Hey, no problem. I'm here to help, right? Yep. Karth, please. <laughs> you really gotta take your meds, man. And uh, combat seems to have cured a mission of her affliction, thankfully. So. That's this area taken care of. We have more places yet to go. And a great many, 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 many rack pools. Halt right there. I'm going to need to kite these guys, I think, so I'm going to actually pull them around the corner. Solo mode on. And mission is going to do the uh, engage what? again, I think. It's going to be a habit with her. Energy shields won't avail us here. Okay, stealth mode, right. No one's I don't do this very message. often in KOTOR. Let's go, come on. What are you doing? Yeah, okay, I got it. No, 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 no. I guess we were noticed or something, I don't know. Get out of combat, put this no on. No one's gonna see this mission. Thank you. Much better. Super sneaky. I was gonna say, uh, in regards to Mission's brother, I tried to play that as neutrally and diplomatically as possible. I don't think uh, Telemachus really wants to get off on the wrong foot with Mission so far. He sounds like a bit of a deadbeat to him. But uh, now is not the place nor the time, and he's gonna reserve that ju judgment until he knows Mission a little bit better, or they know each other. And, uh, this trial by combat... Okay, time to run away now. Disengage. <laughs> run! Right. Karth? Do me a solid, and, uh... It's not Ready. in combat yet, damn it. Why are you not in combat? What in the hell, man? Yes? Oh, that is so glitched. Yeah? Okay, uh, game? Can we start fighting, please? Thank you. That is weird. Never had that happen before. Regular attacks. Karth, what the hell are you doing? Regular attacks, please. Thank you. Okay, that's two of them taken care of. Mission. Yeah? Do the stealth mode shenanigans again. You know what? I... Yeah, sure, whatever. No, stealth mode. Stealth. No one's gonna see this mission. Attack. I said attack. Okay, it's just. Let's just shoot yes. them. Mission. Disengage. What? Stop. Run. Down you go. Thank you. Keep guiding. Yeah. All things considered, that could have gone a whole lot worse than it did. So. Ready. Karth. Yeah. Yeah, you'll yes. all be fine. Whatever. No more rag ghouls. No more rag ghouls. We've got skeletal corpse off yonder. Let's loot it. 
Credits in a med pack. Those are going to come in handy. Turn off solo mode. I keep forgetting to do that. And it looks like two more corpses. A Sith corpse and regular corpse. Let's check this one first. Peter Spike and some credits. And the Sith soldier. This must be the tr patrol that they lost. Rakul Serum. Blaster rifle, heavy combat armor, med pack, a beam splitter, and antidote kits. Nice. It's a good haul. Let's go check out some of these items here. Rack Ghoul Serum. Beam splitter first. Upgrade item range. This item can broaden the beam of certain blaster types, increasing damage or possibly granting other effects. The modifications require a workbench with a adequate tools and a weapon of high quality. Marked as upgradable. Cool. Something for Karth's blaster. I got another blaster rifle, I guess. I'm not sure why that's marking it as uh, the Ratgul Serum. Vial of greenish bubbling liquid. We got a quest update as well, Ratgul Serum. You've acquired a sample of the Ratgul Serum. This could be very pro valuable to the right people. Man. Super tempting to Telemachus to go and... Uh, turn that in <laughs> to the exchange now. He's starting to remember that offer that uh, Gurney made in the upper city. Mm. Will his greed get the better of him in light of uh, Tita's royal band being discovered? Yeah, definitely this is where the Sith patrol wound up dead. We have the sewer entrance here. I'm going to actually drop a save. I'm not going in yet because we have more of the undercity to explore. No, not in there. Uh, we also have a means to cure the outcasts now. 